What's up, guys? It's Jules. Time for another Stitch With Me video. And, whoops, I'm going to move this a second. We're doing Tower of Babel today. Blended project from uh, Scarlet Quince. This is what we're working on. Working on the sky. Working on the sky. Oh, yeah, I mentioned the other day that I like the large print. I... As you get older, the large print is really nice. Super nice. It does create more pages because you end up having to, uh, obviously everything's larger, so you don't get as much on a page of a pattern, but, you know, do what you can. You do what you can. All right, we're going to take this color. We're going to get some stuffy stuff done. So I've been shooting this morning, not shooting, I've been filming um, a how to floss tube, how to do a floss tube video, and basically just how to do a basic video. Um, it's not just good for crafting videos, but it's good for a lot of different kinds of videos. And how to do it with just like your camera, you just need a little, um, like a little tripod, a um, little flexible tripod thing that can grasp onto other things. And... Uh, and how you can, uh, we're going to do the whole thing, how you upload it, how you put it on YouTube. Um, and that way, if some of you guys are like, man, I'd like to do, I'd like to try a floss tube channel, but I just don't know how to do it. And things can be confusing. And do I have to spend money? And nope. When I first started floss tube, I literally did it with, <sighs> did I have a tripod? I think I had my phone balanced on something when I was doing my videos downstairs. I just, that's just kind of how I did it. And, you know, then I moved my way up from there. When I moved my uh, camera set up up here to the, uh, this room, especially to do Stitch With Me videos, I eventually got a little set of lights. Um, they're just like, I mean, honestly, they're the kind of lights you would use for like photography Basically, all they are are is like a white umbrella with um, a white LED, um, and you can you could home make your own light setup for sure. That would not be an issue. We're gonna put this over here. We're gonna put this right here. We're gonna put this right here, and we're gonna start stitching here in just a second. I was not totally ready to get started, but one must do what one must do. One plus two, one must do. Let's see here. Look at it. I found more needles. Shout out to uh, the person that also has the same needle minder as me. I saw that comment. I still need to comment on it, but I saw that comment. And so, but I found a bunch of needles. I was cleaning the desk off and I found a bunch of needles. I'm very happy about that because I am getting low on needles. So that wasn't a good thing. So, we're going to just do a bunch of little stitching projects today. Boop, doop, 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 doop. I think we're going to go to that seafood buffet again today up in the mountains just to have a little getaway and just relax a little bit. I need a little relaxation. Um, did I bring my highlighter? Yes, I did. Good job. And I'm just going to highlight real quick what I have already done and had not highlighted so that will be a good thing and when I get done with this I'm gonna do I'm gonna create an unboxing video for the pet channel so that crazy over there we still haven't decided on a name I keep bouncing back and forth between different ones you guys have recommended but I haven't figured it out yet um, but I gotta put her in a more suitable, she's in a bird cage right now and she climbs to the top of it, which is like a foot and a half. And then she kind of falls, <laughs> falls down on it and it's not safe. It really is not safe for her. So we got a nice, um, cool little setup here and we're gonna do, like I said, we'll do an unboxing video. For those of you who don't know, I have a pet channel with all my crazies on it. Um, I actually covered up the bird cage for the how to floss tube video because um, they were being very loud and I don't think that that would come over well in that kind of a video. So I actually just kept them covered for this too. 
when I cover them with the thicker blanket, it is like it's nighttime and they will go completely quiet. Even if I'm talking, when I cover them up with the white blanket, they know it's still daytime, so they still talk, which is difficult sometimes when you're trying to do things. And so I did not bring my glasses up, and I might live to regret that. At the weekend off, which is great because it's been a very, very long week, but it's been a very, very good week. It's just been very, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. And Thursday, I ended up spending most of the day working on my my actual business business, and I did not hardly get any stitching done. I did work some on Rainy Wagyu Place, but I spent most of the day doing work, work stuff, and not relaxing and that was a mistake in a way but I feel a lot better now I slept really good last night I just want a nice quiet weekend and I think I'm going to yeah, just try to get a bunch of videos done since I'm off this weekend we shall see we shall see Especially the vlogging videos, and I need to get on and answer a bunch of your questions. So, Tower of Babel has not seen love since the last Tower of Babel stitch with me. I thought about doing honeybee portrait, but I was like, no, you know, I really just want to. I can get more done on this one. It's easier. When I'm doing a stitch with me, doing stitch with me's on 14 count fabric are so much easier because then I don't have to wear the magnifiers. And sometimes wearing the magnifiers during one of these videos can be a little uncomfortable. Just because of the I stitch in a position that's different than what I how I normally stitch, because I kind of have to lean forward more and um kind of get myself into it and it's just it's just awkward awkward but my wonderful husband went and cleaned up this room yesterday and honestly he got home and cleaned the whole house before I got home because I didn't get home it was almost six before I got home and he'd been home for about an hour and a half and he just went nuts with the cleaning so when I got home like the house was clean and he had moved all the boxes up in this room that needed to be moved and I mean the man is amazing guys that's why if you're not married yet get yourself a guy who has had to live on his own and take care of himself and doesn't have any problems doing that because he is awesome he takes you know, I mean, honestly, if he wasn't here, like if I was still single, I probably would just, first of all, I probably wouldn't have as many pets as I do. Um, he's quite the enabler, uh, as we all know, with cross stitch, but he's also an enabler with dogs. Speaking of dogs, I can't, oh, I haven't even told him this yet. I'll tell him after the video. I forgot to tell him yesterday. Almost procured dog number seven again. And I wouldn't mind procuring dog number since dog number seven needs a better home than he has now and but I doubt that his owner will agree to acquiesce so we will just work together to try to create a better life for this dog at home but if that ever changes I will be more than happy to take this dog in because she's beautiful she's a greyhound and she's beautiful and she's sweet and my husband has always wanted a greyhound so but uh anyway i got a lot of cleaning to do this weekend we uh we went and got a tiny little tv and i say tiny tiny is relative in this day and age isn't it a tiny is a 32 inch flat screen and it was like 150 bucks or something on Amazon, which was great. And what I did was, 
we finally got all that stuff turned in at um, Comcast last week. All the pieces and whatnot. Because um, we had like multiple TVs hooked up and whatnot. We just turned all that in. And what we're doing is we cut down to Comcast like the most basic channels. Because what I want to watch, unfortunately, requires a much larger package and twice as much money as what I'm now going to be spending on TV. So I went on Sling TV and I signed up for the package that has the sports channels and then I got the extra sports channels so that I can get Red Zone. And I am really happy about that. And it's got like the tennis channel so I can watch a bunch of tennis now and it's right next to my monitor and that makes me super duper happy because now hold on let me count one two three okay but now um, I don't have to turn to look at like a game or something I just have to like just turn like just my eyes avert to the left instead of turning my head it was bothering my neck last year um, with my history of neck surgeries like we'd have a game on behind us like a hockey game especially hockey games um, and something would happen and I'd, and I'd turn my neck really fast or turn my I mean turn my head really fast and it would strain my neck and so this way I think I'm gonna get a lot more done we'll see maybe I'll get a lot less done but it's gonna be fun fun. It's going to be a bit of a tryout this weekend to see how it goes. But I saw a buddy of mine yesterday that I hadn't seen in 10 months. And what's really dumb about the whole thing, whoops, wait a minute, I don't think I need that. What's super dumb about the whole thing is that, yeah, I don't need to stitch that. He lives literally about a quarter of a mile away. It's like, I mean, he lives so close with his family. And I've known him for about a decade. Um, good guy, really good guy. His wife is amazing. Um, they have three kids under the age of five. And so I've gone over there on occasion to kind of just distract the children and play with the children and whatnot. It's awesome. And the kids are amazing. So I love it. I love kids. No, I don't want kids. I love to play with kids and then send them back home. Um, kids are just fun to me. They're like the coolest things, but not, no, it's too late. Not gonna, not gonna have any kids. Um, but, uh, let me highlight here. But anyway, I went over last night hadn't met the new one. We uh, hadn't seen each other since before number three was born. And so got to meet number three. And he doesn't know me at all. But the other two, believe it or not, I believe they remembered me or else they're just really cool kids and they just were like, hey, I like you. Let's hang out and play. Which is kind of like what a lot of kids do do with me. And so because I'm a big kid myself. So I think we... We understand each other. And so, but yeah. And it was hot this week, guys. Oh my gosh, it was, it got up into the 90s again. Hopefully that's the last, like, good heat wave. I think it might be a little warm again today too, but we're getting really close to being done with summer. And... That reminds me, I just remembered that I I looked at the schedule, Mom. I did, um, where I'm supposed to go home to Georgia in uh, a few months, about six weeks, I think. I'll go home. My husband and I are trading off trips this year. In the past, we've gone together to, to visit family and whatnot, but we've got a bunch of dogs and other critters. It is just a lot cheaper to just send one person and the other person stays home and minds the minds the family and so he's going to go visit his family and I'm going to go visit my family and it'll be fun 
So I'm probably going to go in October, right after he goes to see his family. So that'll be good. It'll be good for our families. And then we'll be done for a while going anywhere. Which I really haven't been anywhere this year at all. Let's see. Honey extraction is still on schedule. And it is. We bought. I got a new bee suit um, because somehow my bee suit got a little torn up. I didn't do it. I'm not going to say who did it, but his name rhymes with bark. And, uh,. But anyway, I mean, it's, it's seen a lot of use and wear and tear and whatnot. And so, um, and I, what I needed was I needed a full body suit to really make sure that I'm protected because they can still sting me through my jeans. And that's not a good thing. And, but I've only been stung once, maybe twice in four years. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But since my husband switched to his full body suit, I think he's only been stung once and before that he had been getting stung like a fair bit a fur piece and we don't want that anymore so yeah so we ordered that that should come in the next week or two get us all ready for the extraction in mid to late September we believe that we're going to get over 100 pounds of honey. And the way we calculate that is we have, um, like each, there are 10 frames in each box. We call it a super, a honey super. And what it means is that on a, on a honey hive, um, and we'll explain this on honey video at some point, but there are <clears throat> what they call deeps. And deeps are the bigger boxes that are at the base. And a lot of times you'll see a couple of deeps on top of, uh, on, on, a, on a honey hive. And um, the deeps are basically <clears throat> uh, places for um, storage of honey for the bees themselves. It's a place for them to um, stay and be um, warm and safe during the winter. And um, so you put two deeps and then on top of that, on top of the, the the second deep, you'll put what we call a queen excluder. And it's just basically a, um, like a steel mesh kind of container. It allows air to pass through, but the queen herself cannot go through the little slats. So she's contained in the bottom two deeps. And the reason for that is we don't want her to come up to the supers and potentially at some point, um, we when we remove the super boxes, we don't want her to accidentally get pulled out of the hive, and then who knows there could be a swarm or something at that point. So, um, so the honey supers are um, extra boxes of honey that are smaller. Um, they're not as tall, and they they still fit ten um, frames across, but the frames are just as long, but they're just shorter. And each frame weighs a couple pounds, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. But if you have one box of supers um, that's totally full, I mean, that's 20 pounds of honey right there. And we have five hives right now that we're likely to get at least one full box. And two or three hives that we might get two full supers from. So... We won't really know until the day comes. Uh, we still have almost a month of production, and we had another good rainstorm uh, last night or the night before. It might have been both nights. We've been getting, still getting a lot of rain, so we're still seeing a lot of flower blooming and uh, flowers blooming, and so that's all been super awesome. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, it. You know, I mean. Compared to last year, we're doing really, really, really well. Last year was a big disappointment. We learned a lot from that. We learned about how we need to make sure that the bees have always have great water supply. Um, because otherwise, they just don't feel like making a lot of honey. And the honey they do make is very concentrated, which is not good. It's just not good. 
All right, so, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do this color anymore. Hold on, I'm just gonna put these back in the box and grab another color here. Or another symbol, I should say, because these are two different colors. Let's put this back there. You can go there, and then, what shall I do? I think, well, I've got some of those. I need to highlight. See, I can tell by looking at this that I have not been highlighting as well as I should be. What's the matter, Kitty? Mercury's been starting to come in the box or come over to this box with me whenever I'm, or not box, what am I talking about? I'm talking about honey still. Come over to the, um, to us here, to us here um, whenever I show up to do a video. He's like, yay, you're here to shoot a video. Hang out with me, please. And I hang out with him for a while. He sees us all night long. He just cuddles with us all night. That's all he wants. Okay. It's sneezing. So, we'll go double check and make sure this is that little B, it is that little B symbol. When I say B, I mean the letter B, not an actual B. Not an actual B. Alright. So I got a lot of B I think I could fill in, sort of. Sort of maybe, maybe sort of. Oh man. Crazy week, guys. Just a crazy week. It's, uh, like I said, a lot of changes, a lot of some stress. I've not been handling well, but I'm doing better now. Just a lot of things on my plate at work, and a rough week for some of my patients. So, do Always happy for a weekend off. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try and fast until we go to the seafood buffet because go and get my money's worth. Go and get my money's worth. That's important. Oh yeah, I just remember the hun the husband is downstairs watching D. D23, I think it is, the hunt, the Disney, the Disney thing, the Disney conference or whatever. Did you guys see where I put my needle? Seriously, did you see where I put my needle? There it is, okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, so he's watching that. He'll be watching that for most of the morning. If not all of the morning. All right, let's get up here. We're going to fill in some of this area up here. Let's see. Start with this. I didn't really do any walking. I didn't do any walking because I kept getting home at like 6 o'clock every night. And I was just tired. Super tired. So I didn't do it. But I did get on the bike some. My little stationary bike my husband has and hopped on that a little bit here and there enough to make my legs sore the next day so that doesn't take a whole lot but I was watching this TED talk gotta focus I was watching this TED talk um, and it was about exercise psychology about 
you know, we, we graduate so many personal trainers and exercise physiologists, but until recently, there was not a exercise like psychology major. And what they mean by that is that we all know that we need to exercise. We all know that we need to be healthier and eat better and whatnot, but we just don't do it. And we're kind of okay with it for the most part, because if you really want to do it, you would do it, but most people don't, including myself. And so it's a, so there's a, there's a bit of a switch in like graduating people with degrees in which they, they know exercise, they know training, they know physiology and whatnot. But they're also trained in how to motivate people, how to get people to overcome that lack of motivation and actually do the things that they know they should be doing. And it was a really good talk because it made a lot of sense. And, but and the take home message, at least for just people, average person is what he recommended. And he's been a trainer for 30 plus years or whatever. And he said, you have to find an exercise that works your whole body, but you only have to do it for about 15, 20 minutes a day, but you have to do it every day. And the difficulty needs to be such that when you're done with that 15, 20 minutes, that you are, that you're tired, that you don't have to be exhausted, but you have to be tired. You have to feel like you worked out. And it also has to not be fun. He said, you know, if, if exercise is fun for you, then you're doing it wrong, which is I thought was funny. But so 15, 20 minutes. So even like the walking, I don't think is a is an adequate, like true full body workout. It's pretty close, but it doesn't really get my arms unless I carry something. I carry my phone, but that doesn't count because it's too light, and I only hold it in one hand. But anyway, I thought it was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good talk. And there go the dogs. Can you guys hear them? Yeah, they're loud. It drives me nuts when they do it, when I'm, in, when I'm downstairs. My husband likes to leave the door open so I can go in and out as they please, and he also likes the outdoor air to come in. But when they take off like that, it always startles me. And I jump, and a lot of times I'll jump, and I'll, my head will swivel around, and I hurt my neck. And so I either have to have my headphones on and turned up to a point where I can't hear them, or I have to close the door. Because otherwise it just, it's just too much. But... need to start coming upstairs to stitch more. Jelly won't leave me alone. Um, she just loves me. As she's not anxious. She's anxious when it storms. You guys have seen that. But she just loves me. And I'm glad that she loves me so much. I think it's great. And I love her. But she loves me to the point of wanting my attention nonstop at times. And that gets hard to do. Because she's very demanding and uh so last night i actually had to put we we had a big piece of drywall in actually in the basement and i brought it up and i put it behind my chair and literally blocked all the dogs off from coming around me because i was super tired and I couldn't deal with just everybody was just all over me for like the first hour I was home. And I'm like, I can't. I see, this is why I'm not a mom because I don't have the patience level for that. And, uh, but, uh, but anyway, so that's kind of what ended up happening. And it worked really well. Everybody just went and laid down. They're like, okay, okay, mom. And uh, I really laid down and it was good. I was happy and I, and I could relax for a while.
Oh man, I'm hungry. I just said I was gonna fast. I probably should eat something this morning before I get like hangry. Cause I do definitely get hangry. Like a little kid. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad when an adult gets hangry when they are perfectly capable of eating something. So I'll probably get some um, yogurt or something. I've gotten, I've gotten Mark to actually eat um, these protein bars for breakfast, um, which I'm very happy about because he loves his cereal, but cereal's got a lot of sugar and a lot of calories um, as much as he eats. And then what I found out is that he can actually have a, a breakfast bar that he likes and that tastes good, and it's a fraction of the calories and a fraction of the sugar. So it is you're very happy. Getting stuff done, people. Getting stitching done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know how I've been talking about, I've been having all these ophthalmic migraines lately? Um, I think I'm trying to have, am I trying to have one now? It's hard to say, because I know that when I come up here and I stare into the light sometimes, my eyes will sparkle a little bit. Sparkly eyes. And, um, The um, thing about it is, uh, I went I went for my checkup this week. Hold on, I'm trying to find my stuff. Here it is. I went for my checkup this week, and my PA that I see, my physician's assistant, which I really like her a ton, and I've seen her for many years, um, suggested that I try magnesium, like a magnesium supplement that theoretically helps your brain be healthier, puts things, you know, absorbs directly in the brain, does a little, does better. And I'm using the, um, whatchamacallit, um, powder form of it, which, honest to God, tastes really good. <laughs> like, usually supplements and especially powders and stuff, you know, like, I would love to do apple cider vinegar more, but I hate the taste no matter what I put in it I hate the taste I can't do it or at least I can't do it con you know consistently because I don't like it but this magnesium stuff has like a bit of a grape flavoring in it or something and so it's um it just makes it a lot easier to go down so I'm gonna try it out and just kind of see see if I'm able to just do better in general I was actually Tired. It's because it's, it also says it'll help you sleep and and do different things. And I've taken a couple days in a row. And last night I was actually I actually was able to get tired and let my brain just kind of fall asleep, literally fall asleep, and uh, which was huge for me. Whoa! I'm doing this. I need to go up here and do this. I'm gonna fill this in. So. So yeah, yes.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think it's only like nine thirty or something. So I think I'm definitely because we're not eating until three thirty. I'm gonna have to eat something this morning. Absolutely, there's no way because I'm getting hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry hit the pool. Stretch. Stretch. Oh, man. I was like, where am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? Glasses would be easier, but I don't have them, and I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop and go downstairs. I'll just leave this up here and come up and stitch on this a little bit later, too, once I get the video, once I start loading up the video. My neck says, what did you do yesterday? And I say, I did a lot of scourgery. Scourgery, we like to call it. Scourgery. I'm a little sore. A little stiff and sore today. I also need to get on the bike before we go. I can burn some calories. Earn that buffet. Earn it, I say. Earn that buffet. Boo, be doo boo, be doo be doo be doo and we're still only about maybe a quarter of the way through this page. This is a big page. Even though it's a large print, this is a big page. Now this is the end though over here, and then this is the end down here. So you can see I haven't gotten terribly far with it. Which is silly because I'm at a point where this stitching, this stitching part is easier. Like it's uh, fewer colors and a lot of the colors overlap from one symbol to the next with the blended floss. Come all the way. No, I shouldn't do that. I got too much over here to do. I'm going to do this right here. Yeah. Doop, boop. 
ba -do -ba -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Oh, I did wash Old World Map too. And so that is washed and dried now. It's been sitting on the kitchen table for a couple of days, so it should be totally dry. So the thing that bugs me the most is I'm going to have to go back and regrid. I uh, hate regridding. But washing the fabric, it might actually make that pattern pop a bit more. So we'll see when we put it together and see what it looks like. Mark's been watching some Bob Ross at night, kind of, we kind of chill out to it before we go to sleep, and so, happy little trees. He's so calming, or he was so calming. Okay, that was good. Let me highlight because that was a long section here. That was a long section. That's how I change from horizontal to vertical. Focus better. Horizontal to vertical stitching here. And that I do sometimes just to make it easier to stitch a bunch of stitches all at the same time. It's always cool. And the hamster is making a lot of noise. Did I even do that? I don't think I even did that. I think I missed that. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go. All right, I put my needle on top of my pattern so that I can know where it's at. All right, 
then almost highlight. I'm gonna highlight just a little bit, just a little bit since my last little bit. Okay, so let's see where are we? Hmm. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna switch up our color. One last color change for this particular stitch with me. Got this one here. I'm gonna put this back in so that I don't lose it. And I'm gonna pull this one out here. Two different colors. This one is 3033 and 3865. And when you're using blended floss, Aside from keeping your colors straight, the other thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the length lines up as well as possible. Ah, as you can see, it's one's a little longer than the other, so I'm just going to trim it back so they're both equal. Otherwise, you just you can uh, you can run into problems. At least that's been my experience. Okay, so we're going to go back up to this area, up here, and what is that? That's a piece of stuff. So let's figure out where we're at. Alright, so that's been done. That's been done. Right here. So got that stuff there, so we're just going to bring this all the way over. Except not all the way over. Wait. Yep. That's the last stitch. And we're going to go down. Three. There we go. It's very quiet outside today. Very quiet. Okay. 
here and fill this one in. Put a little verticality here before we switch back to the horizontal stuff. So I took a picture of the Gecko Rouge Dachshund f um, floss color chart, and I'm going to send that today over to Gecko Rouge and see if they can't get me the conversions to DMC since they didn't give me the... I didn't, I didn't see anywhere in the pattern in the book that they sent me where the conversions are, so I'm hoping that they'll still have that on file somewhere so that I can match everything up as well as I need to. So I can get started on it. That'd be awesome. Um, oh, stretch. Okay, so that's where I'm going to stop with this piece. Um, let me pull this away here for a second. It's going to be really beautiful when we get down to this area, isn't it? It's just going to take a while. Like everything else will, it's just going to take a while. So let me turn around here and look at my stuff. I don't, the only thing when I popped out, I, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't started working on Space Traveler, the Hayden piece. But like I said, I need to get some other things done. I need to move them out of this collection. Reaper, Chicago Bears are definitely the two that are, well, those two plus the um, It Is Well um, and the Lincoln one that I've got. I don't know, I might have to restart it. And I might not restart it. I may just leave the... I've got that stain on the um, fabric, and I may just leave that there. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I kind of put, once I got that stain on that fabric, I kind of put that thing away and I haven't worked on it. So, but, um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do next is uh, do the unboxing video for the hamster cage. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be awesome. We're going to put little chomper. I don't know, so again, I don't know what her name is going to be, but uh, I'll convert her over to her new cage today, and hopefully uh, she likes it. She's going to have a little wheel, and um, it won't be as tall, so it will be hopefully something that uh, she won't injure herself on, and we'll uh, we'll kind of see how she goes. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I've got the pet channel and the I got all the channels linked below. Um, and uh, I'll be coming out with the video for the, uh, I'll be doing this video first, um, the Stitch With Me, and then I'll put out, hopefully tomorrow um, or Monday, the um, How to Do a Floss Tube video. And we'll, uh, we'll kind of go from there and 
and kind of see how everything is going. So thanks for watching. Happy stitching. Comment below. Ask me any questions. I'll get to them. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.